Well, welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So a lot of y'all have been on me about why am I not finishing the storm shelter? Well, that's what today's episode's about. So let me explain why I haven't finished it. I've actually had the time and I've done a little bit of work, which I'm about to plug some of that in this video right here, but not much. And the reason being that I have not finished this is for you. It's absolutely been for you. That's because up until this point for the last two, three weeks, I've had contractors out here, equipment and stuff all in the background, music playing, uh, people speaking, people that may or may not want to be on camera. So it's been extremely difficult to get out here and record. Sadly, YouTube simply picks up on music playing way over there in the background or certain things people say, and I can get a strike against me for it. So I have to be very careful on how I record. But nobody's here right now. The contractor probably isn't coming back this week to finish the roof. I think it'll be next week. So I've got a few days. I've got sunshine. And we're going to knock this thing out or get very close at least. And the other reason I haven't been so quick to jump back on it, it's actually already usable in its current form. So we're trying to get it ready being that we may have extended periods of time in here. Starting from June on is our hurricane season. It's absolutely ready for tornadoes right now. For a tornado warning, we may be in here 20 to 30 minutes. It's perfectly safe, plenty of oxygen then. We don't need a futon that we plan on having down the road for an overnight stay. But I really want this ready, completely done and ready before June. Honestly, now that I've got to start working on the house, I need this thing done this week and out of the way. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So before we jump inside and start painting, I've had to put several coats of paint on the wall in there. That uh, plywood just soaked it up, it was bleeding through. We're gonna do a little fun project on the outside. I've just went and picked up some paint colors and we're gonna paint them on, let them dry, because that's the only way you can ever see what they truly look like. And we're gonna try to pick the proper paint color for this. But the fun part about this is, this is also the same paint color that we're gonna use on the house. So we've been really thinking and looking hard for paint colors for the house. We want to put them on out here. We want this to match the house, but this will give us a good visual of what we expect the house to look like. And then we can still change the color down the road if we need to. So let's uh, slap some paint on. I got three different choices here right now. See if we like any of them once they dry this afternoon. And you may be looking at our house paint color. So we know we have decided we want a gray. We've been back and forth between gray and a green for the house but we've ultimately set it on gray. Our building over there is gray. We want this one to be gray. We kind of want everything to match around here. So, I'm gonna paint me a few areas both sides with several different choices of gray. Like I said, let it dry for a few hours because it always changes color. And then we'll see what it looks like. And I'm for choice number two. And I gotta tell you, that looks way too dark, but ultimately, as us guys know, it's not up to us, it's up to our wives. This color is already looking a lot more like the building over there. I lied, that don't look nothing like that building. That's why you gotta paint this stuff on. All right, while that paint is drying, let's head on inside.
thing we're gonna knock out is my ventilation system in here. And I realize we have a lot of new subscribers that have not watched the build up to this point. So in just a minute, I'll explain what we got going on. All I'm doing now is just installing a round vent fan, like a bathroom vent fan. All right, so for all the new subscribers that hasn't followed along on our storm shelter build, uh, we got hit by a tornado last March and we instantly knew we wanted a storm shelter. So I found this wooden wall design online and uh, built it. And I'll be sure to include that playlist at the end of this video. You're probably thinking wood, let me just show you. This was the cutout for the AC. That is how thick these walls are. Six inches thick, wrapped in plywood either side and uh, I had to laminate a bunch of two by sixes together and interlock them like a log cabin. So no air gaps at all in this wall. I literally think it may be bulletproof. But a big concern that we have with being closed up in this space, not so much for tornadoes because you're not out here long, but say if we want to ride a hurricane out all night in here, which we do plan to do, um, we need ventilation. You can wind up running out of good oxygen. So the plans are to put an oxygen meter in here uh, that's why I'm installing this vent fan that I installed to pull and recirculate fresh air into this from the vented attic space up top. And we're going to do that via all these holes that I drilled in up here. Now this does not look good, so now I'm about to put some screens over that so it doesn't pull trash and bugs in every time we kick that vent fan on to recirculate some fresh air in here.
right, well, I think we are going to have to be at a knocking off point today. Didn't get a whole day to do my work anyways, but good progress. We now have five, five stinking coats of paint on the wall. This kills, uh, doesn't block stain like I remember it doing when I was a kid. It's so thin and runny now. So yeah, pretty much all I've done is just prime the wall over and over and over. I'm not coming in here with some high dollar paint for a storm shutter, but got all the uh, kind of dark and bleed through spots finally gone on the roof and the walls, other than just a few knots here and there that was in the plywood. Everything's strapped down so the storm shutter's safe. My latches are installed, although I've got a, there's one of them, but uh, I got a couple more over here in the bucket. They're ready to use. So the door's ready to be secured and locked down should we have to run out here. I now have a shelf over here. I'm going to run power through the wall. I was gonna run power today, but went in there and realized I do not have everything I need. So I'm making a trip to a big hardware store tomorrow. I'll get the last of what I need. And next episode, we'll get power running here. And the inside is pretty much officially done at that point. Got my shelves up, got a couple coats of paint on them. I'll have to paint them some more. I knew in one of these corners I wanted to run some shelving. Probably gonna run power over to here with a switch and a light, and I may do another outlet here, may not. That's why I decided I want some shelves over here, but you know, we'll put uh, supplies up there, maybe a battery powered fan, several bottles of water, things like that, and we'll probably put Bullet a little bed down here um, so he can sleep out here with us for riding out a hurricane. So I definitely want to get some shelving in. We also got all those ventilation holes covered up right here and the vent fan in. And we'll explain more of that once we get to the electrical episode, which will most likely be the next one. Like I said, I've got to get everything run to hook up the AC and uh, the forced air ventilation. So as far as outside goes, a lot of people ask, did you run power over there? Yes, I have run underground feeder cable out here. Uh, 12 gauge should be plenty to run just that little window unit. I also have plumbing down here in the ground I have to dig back up because I'm going to put an outlet out here. I think I have finally decided that all through here is where I'm going to put our citrus trees. So I've got to get those in the ground ASAP. Really, I've waited too late, but uh, I want to get them in the ground all through here. It's the best place I could think of. Uh, when the summer sun's high, I still don't even think these trees grow quite tall enough to uh, shade them out. My father's got a bunch of citrus trees in the shade. They've been doing good for years, so I feel okay about putting them out there. I don't want them over here because eventually I think I'm gonna expand the garden out and do a kind of a traditional in the ground garden over there. So I gotta keep the citrus trees away from that. But definitely I need water out here to take care of those trees. So power and water is next. We're just gonna go straight through the wall. I'm gonna put one outlet out here and then uh, we're gonna pick a paint choice. I'm not so sure that I like any of these to be honest with you. That looks too light, that looks too dark. We might have to go find something in between those two. Ultimately, Tiffany kind of makes the decision there and we'll go with whatever she decides paint this up and uh, at that point we are pretty much done I am going to anchor this down to the ground even more with some kind of mobile home anchors out here that'd be the very last thing that we do like I said as of right now I feel plenty safe in it and uh, safe using it and holy moly there is a huge and I mean huge black widow down there I can even see the big hourglass on it y'all check that out y'all see that thing holy moly that is a big girl. Woo! That's one thing about Florida. We have bugs, bugs, and bugs. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode. I know there's several people that's been waiting for me to get back on this. Sorry we didn't make it to electrical today. Thought I had everything I needed, but I just don't. So we're getting very, very close. Slap some paint on the outside. Then we got to paint the trim. Do a little bit of electrical inside. Hook everything up. Test everything. And then ultimately the last thing will be anchoring this down to the ground even more. Although I seriously doubt it's going anywhere. It's sitting on an eight inch thick slab. But at this point it's so overkill. Might as well overkill just a little more, right? So thank y'all so much for watching. This thing is about to get complete and we'll be done with that build series. Like I said, I know there's a few of y'all kind of waiting to see the final product there. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Well, welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew. You're watching the Kelly's Country Life. It is a beautiful day. And we are finally getting back to something right here that a lot of people have been asking about. I know I've taken quite a bit of a break. This whole fat tongue just always gets in my way. One more time. One more again.
it's safe, it's bolted to the ground, door latches are in. We just need to do some extras on the inside to really get it ready, more for hurricanes than tornadoes, being that we may expand or Boy, it's harder to talk to this camera than y'all realize. <laughs> Try again. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs>